Hello, it's Demon coming back for another round of Tomb Raiders. So I decided to do one more episode for today since we're getting so close to the end. I want to see if I can make it. Uh, we ended the last episode basically getting it into a general's tomb area where we learned he committed suicide because he failed uh, Queen Himiko, the Sun Queen, and pr basically stopping one of her, um, pretty much one of the people that were stuck doing the ritual uh, from committing, well, not killing herself, but... Well, I guess she kind of did. She took poison or something. I forget what they said in it. Um, so, it basically messed up the ritual, and now Himiko has been basically stuck in a decaying body for so long. Um, at the same time, uh, we learned that we got attacked by Matthias' group of thugs, and got Sam captured because Whitman, somehow, we didn't know he was going to betray us. Obviously, Laura knew something was up, but Reyes and everybody else didn't want to listen to Laura. But now, all of a sudden, because of the injury... Reyes now believes us, so yay. So let's see if we can talk to Jonah real quick. I just saw this. cast off anytime. Anytime. Get on the boat when you're ready. We'll head out. Alright. Let's get it done. Lara, what do you expect to find in there? Do you really want to know? No. But you should tell me anyway. There's the soul of an ancient sun queen trapped in a dead body. Her rage is what's causing these storms. If we destroy the body, the storms will stop. Right. And why does Matthias want Sam? I don't know. And that's what's scaring me the most. Look, I know this is a crazy plan. Yeah, it is. But right now, crazy is all we got. So let's do this. The biggest miracle is the fact that PT bed still goddamn runs. That's a goddamn right. scar. Let's go. No. I'll need you and Reyes to guard the main entrance while I go in after Sam. You're going in there alone? More people means more danger of being spotted. I need you here taking out as many of those bastards as you can. It won't just be the Solari either. There'll be others. Samurai, the Queen Stormguard. Look, anything that's not me or Sam, shoot it. My little bird. This isn't goodbye. I'm not gonna say goodbye. We got your back, Laura. Okay, so now I'm gonna say what I was thinking. If you looked at her arm, I can't tell if a bullet actually went inside of it and she actually got hurt, or if she literally just had to graze her arm and they put it in that tan bandage. It's like, dear God, you took a mere flesh wound. What about the guy that took an arrow to the knee? Remember him? He's in Skyrim. He's still running around being a guard. She took one slice of her arm, taken off one, one tiny itty bitty piece. Injury. Alright, let's continue on. the monastery. They wait only to be introduced to their new queen by the one who brought her back to us. <laughs> of course. Of course. I have encountered these archaic tribes before. Let's get some awards, James. What is he doing? My name is Dr. James Whitman. I come to you in peace. I bring you your new queen! Oh no. He is a damn idiot. Your queen! What is it, Japanese? Y uh, your. Joe! My. No! 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 Wow, they killed Whitman so bad they turned his ass into a skeleton. Look at that. Actually, his body ain't here. That ain't Whitman. That was Whitman, and 
he got murdered that badly within five seconds, yeah, that'd be fucking amazing. But nope, that ain't him. That ain't him either. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just keep like his body spawned here. That's kind of weird in my opinion. I also don't see the point in why, because uh, if you notice, like Kimiko sat there and did that. I think I'm assuming to stop the Oni from killing Sam, because they don't know who the uh, they don't realize that she's supposed to be the next Sun Queen. Because they're only following the last orders that they were ever given. So let's keep running ahead and see what else we find. Hey, look at that! Bitch got murdered. And a shield is that? It looks like shit got real here. Let's go inside and watch. Yeah, they pretty much make it pretty certain that Whitman's a goddamn moron. The Storm Guard. Still protecting their queen after all these years. That's their job. How are these guys doing? Somebody's taking a knee right here. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta burn this shit. So, you notice how we're getting closer and closer to the Storm Guard guys. That's why I said the bow, even though it's very useful to have, you may or may not want to just upgrade the other weapons first. Also, I don't know why she has this lid. We're entering an area. Look at these big pricks. Look at them. My question is, how did Matthias get by all these guys without anybody seeing him? Better the fact that nobody sees Laura as she's running around. Okay, my big question is, where do I go from? Okay, this is where I go. Look at that big prick. I can only imagine what would happen if I fell down there with all of them. Look at that, perfectly fine. What up? <laughs> Fuck off. I have a goddamn handgun, why are you running at me with- Okay, now we're pissed. Yep, that's why I thought. That's why I thought. Nope. Nope. Fuck all you. See? How can they be alive after all this time? I was gonna be nice. I was just gonna use my goddamn pistol. But no, oh, you all wanted to get point blank range and try to stab a bitch. No, 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 no. Also, I find it hilarious that these guys are carrying ammo on them when I'm killing them. You would figure they wouldn't have a single gun of or anything on them. Guarding it. I know I have to do this, but I'm so scared of what I'm going to find in there. Alright. 
So I figured I'd let Laura finish what she was saying instead of cutting her off again. Alright. So, we could either be on equal footing with these bastards, or I can go ham on them and use a pistol. I think I'm going to keep the pistol ready to go in this situation. Oh, I remember this. This heart's a bitch. She can't hear you, Laura. Why are you screaming? Jonah's going ham. She's got one usable arm. Shot the arrow for Christ's sakes. Uh, look at Kiko. It's best. Take a knee, bitch. Good thing I went for faster reload speed. That is why you upgrade my guns. That is exactly why I upgrade my guns. Because the bow and arrow wouldn't let me do shit like that. Ah, how you landed straight on your spine, how'd that make you feel? I have an assault rifle. How does that make you feel? Go for your knees, I don't give a shit. I have a goddamn gun, learn! How the hell could the dick? Wait a minute. My question is this. I'm a single human being using a fucking fully loaded assault rifle, right? Now, I don't know why, but why couldn't all the Japanese soldiers just do what I just did? Like, you go, oh, they had World War II era equipment. That's the point. <laughs> I, I may not even have access to this machine gun at this point in the game, so it's like, unless I was specifically going all out to get the gun upgrades. Then I don't understand how there's so many of these guys alive on this island. Like, how does she keep them alive? Come on, put your little head out. Here, I'll stand out in the open. I don't think I'd die. I thought I saw red. Fuck off. Like, there's a lot of guys here, but, like, you don't see any women fighting, so it's just like... How the hell are these people alive? They can't be having, like, kids to repopulate each time. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that grenade launcher thing. Yep, that's what happens if you shoot it right away. Do another one. Just to be safe. Alright. Where do I go from here? Bam. Oh, shit. Dodge, dodge. <laughs> they just kill their own guys. <laughs> I heard the explosion and I heard the screams. <laughs> Bitch. Let's 
shit, bitch. Go for cankles, I don't give a shit. I'm okay, I'm okay. Cankle. Dead. Make sure the shotgun shells. Don't know why there's loose ammo here. Shit, boys. Yep, you definitely tell they killed some chaps here. Look at that. How the hell couldn't you guys kill them? They're so easy to kill. Like, I guess he maybe had trouble with the big guys. Those little pricks. Like, look at this guy with his goddamn mighty hammer of fucking raw. the dab on you. Sounds like a fucking airplane. Look, pick that up. No, oh, fuck you, game. Look at this. These guys got murdered. How the hell did you die to these people? Unless you, well, no. No, nope. chances are pretty high they got killed because they're stupid. Because these guys probably ran in here with rifles and submachine guns and their pistols. And instead of playing it smart, they probably charged it and did a, did a suicide charge and got killed. This Chinese earthenware is thousands of years old. Could they have visited this island before the rise of Yamatai? Yep. So they probably did a bonsai charge and got murdered for it. I didn't think about that. That's an excellent point. Wait. No, 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 don't do it. What's on the floor there? Is that another book? Yes. We never, never had a chance. They were waiting for us, hundreds of them. We never even made it to the sacred chamber. From the beginning, we were doomed. And now I wait for my ancestors to take me. I can hear them. The only archer in my brothers, eating them, consuming their souls. So much death. I, I'm the last one. What is my fate? Will I become one of them? Ancestors, hear me. Please, take me away from this. Before they only come for me. Please, take me to the afterlife. Let me die in peace. These poor soldiers, they had no idea why they were here, and when they died alone, I've got to stop this. <sighs> poor guy. Yeah, fucked. See, good thing I stopped. That must be him right there, I'm assuming. Could be wrong, could be right. Alright, so where are we at? Okay, so if I remember correctly, I have to be able to get up to that top section now. And I think there's a ting I gotta do something to. So let's do this. Okay. So I gotta find a way to force that to stay open. So I think I have to go up here and run to the other side if I remember correctly. Well, at the very least, I can come over here and grab this shit. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, more salvage. Means I got just enough to do one more run for a weapon of some sort. Oh yeah, so this will open it. Once it's opened, you can run back over here. There's a lot of dead bodies through here, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I guess they eat their enemies? And then maybe that's how they stay alive so long? Maybe they have to eat human flesh? Oh. Didn't I, didn't I know what I was doing? Come on. Okay. 
With that, I think I come up here and I just I just use the um, winch thing, and then it smacks that wall. I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. Let's try it. Yep, I was right. Now the big question is, is how do I get over to there? Okay, so I've got to be able to jump over to there. Do I jump onto this? Ooh! 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 Yeah, almost became a problem. Um, trying to remember how to get up there. Almost died. Almost died. Close the thing. And after closing it, I think. Do I just. Do I just smash this into the ground? I think I just do this a couple times till this collapses in there. I think I have to get it to go up higher. So that damaged that. Oh, I think I see what I gotta do. So that does that. And then I jump over here. No. Okay, it's intriguing me now. Now I'm irritated because I can't figure it out. Okay. Okay. Do I just bring it over to me? Maybe I climb onto it? Let's try that. So, let's bring this back up. I don't think there's a way to climb over to it. I think you specifically have to use that wall jump. And the only way I can see you being able to do a wall jump in this situation is you have to swing this over to you. And then you jump onto this. And then... Nope. That's not how that works either. Okay. Well, there's got to be a way to get up on that. Can I open this back up, or is it broken? Broken. Nah, it's broken, broken. Okay. Now I'm irritated. Unless I gotta jump on from something. How do you get up there? Maybe I gotta go jump up on one of those wooden beams. Let's try that next. It's the only other thing I could... Okay, and then magically enough, she can't reach the damn thing. You do it every other time, but this one time she wouldn't do it. Alright, so let's try this. So go up here. I can't jump onto that. Can't do anything on that either. Examine. So what's that? Oh, okay. I mean, do I drag it to one of these sides? Nope. It's too high. I can tell that, Laura. Okay, let's try just to bring it down real quick. See what she does. Oh wait. That has where can I There must be something I can connect this to. Is there a white thing I can connect it to? Try doing this. Ah, 
Okay, I got it. See, can I get it on from here? No, okay. So what you gotta do, now that I remember how to do this, I think, is I gotta jump up to this. As you will watch. Maybe I'll pull it off, maybe I won't. And then what you do is you use the wench to grab onto this. It'll say rope, it'll say use the extender, but I'm just keep calling it a wench. You pull it up here, you jump up top, jump. and then you go right here. Yeah, 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 I figured it out. You guys get to watch every painstaking moment of it. Alright. The Sun Queens. The fire ritual where the Queen chooses her successor. The chosen priestess enters the monastery. And she's given your power and becomes the new Queen. Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life, a soul in a decaying body. Vessels. It's not transferring power, it's transferring a soul. All these queens, they're all... You, Himiko. First and last. Oh god. And now you want Sam. Well, you're not getting her. All right. Sam, a vessel for the queen's soul. I've got to stop this madness. Ooh, I see a glowy thing. Gimme, 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 gimme. I have no choice now but to meet my fate. Tonight, I climb the stairs to the chamber of the sun, but I will never submit to the ritual. I will not emerge queen. None will ever believe what I now know to be the truth. A twisted evil beyond imagining lives within the Sun Queen. An evil that hungers for more than just the land and seas of Yamatai. This madness cannot continue. So I go to the chamber, armed with the stolen dagger of her Stormguard General. By the time he realizes what I have done, it will be too late. For the sake of Yamatai and all the priestesses that would follow me, I must die. Terrible choice. I feel as though I am following her path, but what choices will I be forced to make? So yeah, so the, basically the the last, um, the current vessel that uh, Himiko's in, she realized the mistake that, yeah, it pretty much gives you the sums up of it. Uh, she realized that she was being used this way, and instead of becoming the next vessel, she chose to take, basically attempted to take her own life. So, as a result of that, nobody else, I guess they couldn't find anybody else that could become the next heir. Because everything was screwed up because of it. All for one person making a very honorable sacrifice. Himiko got fucked. <laughs> Alright. The point of no return. Laura is unable to fast travel after this camp. So this is our last chance to do anything. I've seen similar artifacts on the banned giant site in Thailand. How did this get all the way to Yamatai? Uh, it's called Trade. Look at that, Spittoon. Alright. The last upgrades that I can ever get. Alright. We're definitely going for this. Good for us. That's the last of the skills being spent. We go back to gear. And this will pretty much be the last of the upgrades I can ever get on these. So, I, I want to say that in the case of the bow and arrow, I don't see it being overly useful. As much as I would like to actually get this penetrate armor or pass through soft targets to hit multiple enemies, as much as I like that, I see the firearms as being the key to my survival. Um, so, the shotgun is basically going to get a full upgrade. So, we're going to get the wrap stocking, meaning. Now it is going to have even better accuracy when I fire it. And this is the final one, which is incendiary rounds. Barrel tip applies ignitable fuel to outgoing pellets. So now, that's all the points I have. So my shotgun is pretty much as fully upgraded as I can get it. And I can actually switch the rounds out for the incendiary rounds now. So I guess that's it. We're ready to go. We're going to complete the mission today. 
And then I will edit these, hopefully not very heavily in the end. Anything over on the sides that I can pick up? Any? Nope, nothing of importance. Chasm Ziggurat. New goals to reach the very, very top. Alright, Laura, let's go and complete the mission. couple other times. I think it's because of the camera angle. It depends on what camera angle you're in and I think what ends up happening is the camera dictates the um, the movement and because sometimes I'm doing it with a weird camera angle it's forcing my movement to go the wrong direction. Come on Laura. Better reach the top. This must be finished. I think, I think I just gotta make that thing aim over there, so... Oh no, I gotta drag it to the left. Ding, one ding, 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 dong. The actual big miracle is the fact that so much of this goddamn building are still intact. Okay. Where do you connect to? Oh, is it that thing you connect? Really? Everybody guess that. Do I go to the left? Or do I go to the right? Choose this way. Lara, watch out! Those bastards are heading your way. We did everything we could to slow them down. Thanks, Reyes. Get to the boat. If I'm not back... We're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting. Those big sons of bitches, they gonna be claiming. Oh. Almost became a problem. Almost. Alright, come on. Go faster, Laura. I find it funny that she's doing these lightning strikes and actually getting you closer and closer to this location. Which actually makes me curious how much of this is like Himiko and how much is this is like the last like girl that was like she took control of like does that girl have like any influence over those lightning strikes it seems like it's getting you closer not further away from where you gotta go all right that's another save point now let's continue okay i go 
here. Yep. It's actually a nice little thing to think about too. It's like, Himiko doesn't want you to get where you're going, but maybe that other girl, the other woman does. So she's trying to help you like, a little bit. So it's kind of it's kind of like a cool idea for the game. Climb, you bitch! Climb! Gonna lay a swarm. Complete the mission. Yeah, cause it, it, there's no way like Himiko's the one that's doing these lightning strikes. Like they're all helping you. And how are you doing that? Oh, I remember this part. This part's a bitch. Oh, great queen! Through the trials, I have brought you the vassal. Pour forth and return to this mortal coil. Pour forth. Come on, come on. Bam. Getting much better with this timing. Much better.
poor bastard, fell right off. Imagine surviving that jump just to get screwed by wind. Ah, quit limiting for my ability to run. First one willing to admit that I got screwed because it's well, really a fucking walk slide. You're bullshitting me, my friend. That wasn't even you moving, you fat fucker. Look at that. You're not even moving. That's why I wasn't ready for it. How do those fucking embers feel on your spinal column? They tinkle? Fuck you. Fuck you. You killed your cousin. Okay. E. <laughs> I still count a little BS for my one death. I couldn't do anything in that situation with that high stepping slog shit. Yeah, give me your shit. Spread your shit. Okay, machine gun's back, shotgun's mostly back, pistol's not bad. Let's do this. Best in this. Shot him in his arm. How's that shoulder feel, bitch? <laughs> Says long held out death scream. I like it. the bitch.
happening? I'm here. You're safe now. It's okay. It's okay. You saved me. I knew you would. I made you a promise. Let's get you home. Laura! She's got Sam! She did it. I think she's going to be okay. What happened up there? It's over. We can go now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I've been so blind, so naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. Anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I'm guessing I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. We hope you've enjoyed playing Tomb Raider. We have worked, hard, worked our hardest to bring you the best game as we could possibly make. Thank you for t making the time to complete our game. So, this will be the credits rolling. As long as it doesn't get too loud for the music, I guess I'll let it keep running. Um, so, I originally owned this, I think, on PlayStation. I think I got it for. I think it was PlayStation 3, and then I think I got, a, I think I got the definitive edition when the PS4 came out. But I never really played them that much. And I never got interested enough to really try it. I did have it because I was like, oh, yeah, I'll come back to play this in the future. But it kind of was a waste of money because I never played them on the PlayStations. I ended up just getting it and beating it on the PC. And I think the reason I bought it was when... I think Rise of the Tomb Raider was on sale. And I said, you know what, what the hell, I'll try playing Tomb Raider 1. And I played it. It was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed this game. This game's actually pretty fun. Um... I guess, now that I can look back at it though, compared to when I first played it till now, um, I would definitely say the biggest issue I ran into is, there's a, there seems like there's several glitches I was running into throughout the game. I don't think I ran into them when I did my first playthrough, like, a year or two ago, when I first played the game. I didn't run into them nearly as badly as I did now. Oh yeah, it's starting to get loud. Nope, nope, we're fine. But, uh... 
I, I don't think I ran into him as much as I did now. Like, I ran into several movement glitches. I think it was all based on Pawn, where the camera was leading at the time. So it kind of was awkward for the keyboard and mouse controls compared to using a controller. That and the fact that I ran into, like, several... Um, cutscene issues where the cutscenes weren't loading in and I'm sitting there running around like a headless chicken so those were some problems I ran into it, t it basically tells me there were glitches in the game maybe that I didn't experience the first time around that I definitely got to deal with this time but besides that um, I know this game came back from 2013 so it's kind of like I'm giving my thoughts on an old game like this but I guess in the grand scheme of things I would say I compared to the older Tomb Raiders which I've kind of like touched on a little bit i haven't really played them all that much the one i remember playing is like um i think my brother had like an old playstation demo disc if anybody remembers those like where they put all the games on there and i was able to play a bit of the demo and that was about it and it was really wonky really glitchy and i never liked it and then i think they kept coming out with newer ones based off that character model style and i never cared enough to really try to play it Mainly because I thought it was just stupid and broken and I just didn't like the playstyle. It was like a really crappy tank control cartoony looking mess that I didn't like. Now, but now that like they came up with this new version of it, which I'm hoping they come up with more in the future, which is kind of like you get to sit there and see everything in this aspect. But I don't know where they're going to go with it because I think when we get to 3 you'll find out why. But um... Like, I really enjoy this new style. Like, I like the fact they took away, like, the cartoonish looking. I guess they were just limited by the game engines they had at the time. And they tried to make it seem more realistic. More, like, down-to-earth human. And I love the graphics for this game. This game is, even though it's from 2013, it's still a really nice looking game. Um, compared to what the newer ones look like, does it hold up? No, but it's still pretty amazing to look at and watch and play. Um, for what they had at the time back six years ago i mean this game still holds up pretty well for what it is is there glitches in it yes is there a couple like control issues with the character yes even when you guys sat there and saw me fight the big guy at the end there i admit i got my ass kicked and got killed but i didn't think he'd do the slide animation while not using his footsteps because that's what i was i was watching for footsteps and him to lean into it, not the slide. So he pretty much kicked my ass, and then all the other guys came in and beat me up because I had no health. But um, still was pretty fun. Still pretty fun. Um, I would say if I had to give Tomb Raider 1 a rating, if I was playing it back then, I'd probably give it like a 9. But compared to being like what it is now, I'd say I'd probably be like a, like an 8. It, it's visually a really good looking game. The story's pretty good. Um, if you watch the movie, you'll kind of understand where I sit there and say the movie's not as good as the game. Like, the game kind of gets more... <sighs> I guess you could say it's more... De it, it's a bit more, like, crazy because of, like, the mythical bits to it. And I guess they were limited by what the movie could show. That's why I don't like the movie as much. But it's still pretty not bad. It, it's an okay movie. Um, the game, though, I do love it. It's still pretty fun. I, I definitely give it a strong 8. It... There's limitations on what the and what I can do on this one compared to the newer ones. The newer ones are a bit more um, easier to control and stuff. Unless I miss something and forget about it. <laughs> In which case, I'll remember it when I go back to play Rise of the Tomb Raider next. But I don't know when I'm going to get around to playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's the only issue I'm going to run into. Um, I'm not going to have time, I think, Sunday to play this at all. Um, next week, I won't have time. I, I don't know. I might have time on Monday. i got to see when I work Monday. And that'll tell me whether I can do it Monday and play a little bit. Um, let me see. Yeah, I should have time Monday morning to do a little bit of playtime. So, well, maybe not even a little. I might be able to get three or four episodes in before I gotta stop. But there's a lot more to that game, and I really like the DLC they added to it because there are a couple. There is like one or two DLC missions that have been added, so I can play them too. Um, but besides that, I don't think there's really much else I can do in this situation. I mean, this is this is Tomb Raider. We, we got to the end. We saved Sam. Um, there is, if I end this, let me just show it to you. I think you can actually go back to the island. Uh, you completed this story with an overall game completion of 64%. That's basically where I was at before. You may return to the island by selecting continue in order. So basically, if you do this, um, 64%. Same as my other one was. 
You can go back through the game if you want to. Um, explore the island using base camp travel to find all rewards, complete any unfinished challenges. So, yeah, if you if you do this, you basically can run around and redo any. Well, you can't do the missions again, but you can complete whatever challenges or mission or tombs you haven't completed. You can basically find all the different hidden gems and stuff to get 100%. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't really know if I want to show off the tombs for this one. This one, it's the tombs are not as enjoyable in my opinion. I don't really like the first one's tombs. That's that's kind of where I had to get the downgraded from 9 to 8. I kind of like 2 and 3's a bit more because they're a little bit more connected compared to this one where it's kind of random. So I don't really enjoy this one's nearly as much as I enjoy the others. But, um, but if I wanted to, I could basically go through here and get all that, find where all the tombs are at, play the game, keep going. Um, I don't think you. I think you can still run into like a lot of the AI like NPC enemies, but I don't think you really run into any of the like non-human-looking characters anymore into the game. Like I think you can run into the wolves. I don't know if you run into anybody with guns. I, I don't think so because it's kind of like at that point in the game where ain't nothing going on. Oh, I will buy this little upgrade though, kind of, in case I ever come back to this. I, I never really do 100% completions on games like this. I don't see the point in doing it. Um, I'm more here just wanting to watch the story and play the game. If I wanted to do 100% runs all the time, I think I'd probably lose interest in my games after a while. Because, in my opinion, there's a point in these games where it's just like, you're devoting so much of your time beyond just the story to learn about stuff. And I don't have the time to really do it anymore. And it's hard enough trying to get enough content for you guys to watch. So, um... Yeah, that'll be it. This will be the end of Tomb Raider 1. So, these episodes are all done. I got to edit them a lot. I don't know when I'm going to be releasing them, though, because I have to get a new filler game going through right now, because what's ended up happening is, when you guys are watching this, I'm actually running low on Ottoman campaign episodes. So, whenever you guys see this, I don't know if I'm going to do this as, like, a weekly thing, or if I'll just post them all kind of like RE2 was, which is... I'll just release them all at the same time and then go play U4 if something goes on. As I mentioned in the update, I think last June, I think I released it, or maybe late May. It was either early June or late May I released that update. I said I don't know if I'll find a new job, so that's really where it comes down to. Will I find a new job? I don't know. I haven't heard anything yet, and it's been a little bit, but um, yeah, I haven't heard anything, so I don't know if I'll be getting a new job yet. Worst comes to worst, I'm still working where I'm at now, and I'm subbing on the side, in which case, yay for me, I can still record and do video games sometimes. Um, but at the same time, it kind of sucks, because it's like, I don't have a new job yet, and I'm stuck with the place I'm at. So, you know, you, we'll f I'll find out, I'll update you guys on it um, as time goes on. So, if you've been enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Um, next game will either be Rise of the Tomb Raider, or I might be playing another round of EU4. Don't know who I'd play as, though. Um, don't really know who I'll play as, because I... <sighs> there's so many countries in that game, and there's some that are actually within reason for me to be able to play as and win as, and then there's some that aren't. So, we'll find out as time goes on. I might play... Maybe I'll play in Indonesia this time. I don't know. But I'll see you guys all then. Please do those things, and I'll see you then. Thank you.